And so what I tell my client, I say, hey, I've got my showing assistant, so-and-so, they're going to just open the houses for you. Now, once you find a house that you really, really, really like, I will personally go out and look at that house. Okay. So that, that, was, a, that was a guarantee that I would make for my clients is if you want me to, once you find the house that you love, after my showing assistant has opened up 10, 12 houses for you, once you find the one you really like, I'll personally go out and look at it for you and give you my second opinion if you want me to. Okay. And that way I only had to go out and look at one house instead of going out and look at a bunch of them. So, you know, there's an easier way to do this business guys. Welcome to the success with listings podcast, where we help you get success in the real estate game, the easy way. Now you can get off the roller coaster of feast and famine and out of the rat race of competing with every other agent in town. Hi, I'm Nolly Williams. I took over a thousand listings during my first 10 years in the real estate game. And in this podcast, I show you how to have success with listings. Let's go. Yeah, Sabu, Sabu has a script here that he says, um, I have room to take a couple more listings. Who do you know that is thinking about selling their house? So that's a good script, Sabu. Um, I like that script. Uh, a lot of times people don't like to ask for business because they don't want to seem like they need business. And so a script that I like to use is, hey, uh, when people ask me how I'm doing, how's, how's the market or how I'm doing, I say, you know what, Peterson, I'm so glad you asked how I'm doing because I have a real big problem right now. I wonder if you could help me with it. And they say, well, what, 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 what do you need help with? I say, well, I've got a real big problem. And my problem is everything that I have in my inventory, it's already sold. I need more inventory because I've got a lot of buyers that are looking for houses and I don't have any place to put them. Who do you know that's looking to buy or sell? So that's, that's kind of the script that I like to use um, around that. I like your, your script as well, Sabu. Um, I've got a couple more. Uh, I have room for a couple more listings. I like that. Okay. So uh, Sabu's asking about the inventory snapshot. That inventory snapshot that I did was just one that I did. It's so it's super easy to create your own from a um, from a spreadsheet is what I would recommend to use now. Uh, Rebecca says, track it all. No doubt. Um, Dorita's asking if I can share the form. I can share the form, but I don't have an editable uh, copy of it. Super easy to recreate that, Dorita. Um, I think we we just used uh, um, Excel. To, to make that. So one of you guys can create that. I'll, I'll put a, um, what I'll do is, let me see if I can upload this real quick. Hold on a second. Um, Cause I can upload it to, I'll just upload it to our group. I'll upload it to our group. And then uh, one of you guys can recreate it in Excel. That'd be phenomenal. And you share it out with the group. Um, Uh, Rebecca says it's in the mentorship master's portal. I don't know if that one's in the portal. It might be. I know I've got a crap ton of stuff in the portal. Um, and, and, and so that one might be in there as well. Uh, okay. What's a good script to use when a buyer says they are discouraged uh, because their inventory uh, is very low? Well, um, you know, you, they should be discouraged if inventory is low. I know in our market, um, the, there's twice as many uh, buyers and there's half as much inventory as there was a year ago. Remember, now it's okay to work with buyers. I never did my career. I never did work with buyers, not even from the day, day one. Um, what I teach you guys is listings. If you want to have success in this game, listings is where it's at. I'm going to keep preaching it. Um, you know, and, and you say, but Nolly, I want to work with buyers. That's fine. If you want to work with buyers, there's not, you know, I, I let you guys, you guys can do whatever you choose, but you can see in markets like the one we have right now, it's not fun working with buyers. I mean, you got to uh, lug them all over God knows where you're going up against 12 other offers. That's just the market right now, guys. I mean, that's just what it is. Now, um, if you get creative and you learn some other tactics and techniques like, uh, you know, uh, seller finance and other things like that, you start learning some of these techniques, then you can, then you can build a buyer book of business and have a loyal following of buyers and have an off the market list of listings. That's a whole nother strategy. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, there's, it, you just have to, to Michelle, what I would say is you want to educate the buyer before you begin working with them and let them know this is the market we're in. We're going to get 
you know, we're, we're going to go up against multiple offers. You've got to put your best offer forward. You're going to probably pay more than asking price and so on. So the, the right education is what you want to implement, you know, going into this thing. But I would say for all of you guys, um, you know, I've been preaching this for years. Uh, the very first property that I ever took was a listing, okay, in my career. And the last property I, that I'll take in my career is going to be a listing. I work with sellers, okay? And when you work with sellers, you don't have, it, you don't have that issue. Um, you just, you put it on the market and you let everybody come and, and, and bring their offers. You know, it's, it's, it's just a much friendlier side of the business, in my opinion. I love it. Um, okay, so Rebecca says she created a detailed spreadsheet that she's going to share with everybody. What's up, Rebecca? Um, Rebe Rebecca really is our resource girl. So uh, resource gal, I should say, uh, on the team. She knows about all the latest gadgets and systems and tools and, and things like that. So uh, we're, we're, we're happy to have you on board, Rebecca. Thanks for sharing that with us. Um, okay, let's see. <laughs> I'm looking through these comments here. Um, Rebecca says, what about when a seller wants to buy? So I just don't work with buyers. Um, if a seller wants to buy, I just, I refer them out. Or I, you know, I've always had buyer agents on my team and I would give them to my buyer agent on a 50, 50 split. Um, I just, because, because it, for me, the reason I don't, I, I mean, there, there's several reasons, but, and I'm not telling you guys what to do. I'm just answering the question. For me, uh, it, on a listing, a listing takes me three hours, okay? When I, when I take a listing, I, I invest three hours of my life on that listing. Let me tell you, let me say it again. When I take a listing, I invest three hours of my life, period, okay? So I already know if I take a listing, I'm going to make at least 10000 maybe fifteen. And, uh, and, and I'm going to invest three hours on that listing because I, because there's only five or six activities that I'm going to do of the 46 personally that I'm going to personally do. So, um, with a buyer it, now, if I, if I have a buyer, if I have a showing assistant, then working with buyers is, is easier. Okay. Um, but you know, so I would have a showing assistant. In fact, I have a, I have a spreadsheet or, or a whole system of how I work my buyers um, so you have a, a showing assistant and then you pay them per house that they show. And then you have um, on the other side, you have a, your assistant that draws up the offers. So if you're doing that, it's no problem because you're not really investing your time. Um, now, I get it. You know, some of you guys are brand new. You're like, what do you mean? I got to work. I was brand new. I didn't work with buyers even from the beginning. But um, some of you guys feel like you want to work with buyers and that's fine. I'm just telling you what I did. And you guys are paying me to teach you what got me success. Um, you know, I, after my second year in the business, I can't remember a year where I made less than half a million dollars in commissions uh, after my second year. So um, if you've been in this business more than two years and you're not making at least a quarter million, you're not following my system. That's the bottom line. If you've been in this business for more than two years, okay, raise your hand, you've been in two, more than two years. If you're not making more than a quarter million dollars, you're just not following my system. And there's no other, there, there's nothing else that you can say about it. Um, you know, and that's not me, be, me being rude. That's me being real. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's look at, see what the rest of these are. Um, Sabu says, I've been working with a friend as a buyer for 20 months and we are finally closing this month. High, high five, high five, Sabu. In 20 months, um, I would have taken probably 150 listings at least, maybe 200. Um, and so, so the thing is that that's a lot of time to work with somebody. Um, I remember now there, there are some buyer, I'm not saying I've never worked a buyer. I've worked a few buyers. I'm saying 96% of my business has been listings, 96%. I've worked 4% of buyers. So in a thousand deals that I've, that I've taken, okay, I've worked some buyers, uh, you know, not, not very many, but I've worked some. And, this is something I actually statistical calculation that I have never shown a buyer more than 12 homes. And that person, you know, bought something. So all, and, and, and I have had some buyers like that, Sabu, that I was like, man, I'm, this is an easy one. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and take that one because it looks easy. Have you ever had that one? It comes in. They're like, I just want to look at one house and write it up. 
You're like, man, this is easy. I'm, I'm, this is, this is an easy paycheck. Then you go meet them. And they're like, nah. Then they want to go see another one, a different. And then you're like, crap. Twenty months later, right? Um, and so I've had some like that. And uh, but, but, you know, the ones that have that I've shown like twenty, thirty houses, they've never bought anything. So, and probably because I dumped them after so many. But you know, congrats to you, Sabu, that you're finally closing that deal. Um, there is an easier way to do the business, though. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, Rebecca says she only works with the buyers if they have, you know, a big down payment. Uh, that's cool, too. You know, I'm not telling you guys how to run your business. I, you know, you do it the way you see fit. Uh, Stuart says um, when you work with listings, uh, you will get buyers automatically because many sellers also have to buy uh, and you will get inquiries uh, about your listings from buyers. Here's the cool thing about working with sellers that need to, to buy. A seller that needs to buy is motivated. OK, it's not some buyer that's in, our, in an apartment, you know, that's got three months left in their lease and they're out tire kicking. If I've got a seller's house under contract, we need to get into something. That's that's the kind of buyer you want to have. OK, so I'm not saying you want to turn those loose because they, they they're ready to buy. You know, that that's a good that's a good one. Let's go out this weekend. We're going to write something up this weekend. That's it. We're done. So I get that. Um, but I like to have a showing assistant. Um, uh, you know, a showing assistant. Um, that's how I got Mina, you know, Mina Slaughter. Uh, and this is no disrespect to Mina, but Mina, when she got into real estate, she went, she was at Keller Williams. I'm not disrespecting Keller Williams. I, lo I love Keller Williams even to this day. I, I think it's a great company. Um, I'm just, I just happen to be with the best company on the planet, which is EXP. Uh, and when I was with, I was at Keller Williams for 10 years and Mina was at Keller Williams and she was about to quit. She was about, I'm, she said, I'm out, I'm done. And her husband was like, go get you, go back to work, go back to your, your day job because you're not making it. She had gone eight months without a deal, without a closing. How many of y'all have gone eight months without a closing? Some of you guys have, you know what that feels like. And so when she joined me um, here at Mentorship Masters, I taught her how to, how to get, go out there and make it happen. And so within, I think within 90 days, she had a bunch of deals on the table. Now think about it, fast forward, She's been with me. She just started her second year with me. And, and think about this. I just talked to her last week. She has eight deals that she got under contract in two weeks. Okay. In two weeks. When she came to me, she had gone eight months without a paycheck. All right. So there's a big difference in doing things the right way and the wrong way. Now, when I met Mina, the reason I got on this is when I met Mina, she was a showing assistant. And that's what I paid her 30, 30 or 30. She'll remember I paid her 30 bucks a house to open house, to, to go show my buyers. Uh, in, in, and my buyers were in the six, $700,000 range. And Mina was a showing assistant. She would go out for 30 bucks a house and she would open the door and show my clients. And we ended up getting under contract for of a house, of, uh, a house with 655,000. Um, Mina was the one that showed them the house. Uh, my assistant wrote it up and I got paid. OK, so I didn't spend even an hour on that deal. Um, and, and so so but that's how Mina came to the group as a showing assistant. There's many agents out there that are willing to be showing assistants and they'll do it for 30, 39, you know, 40 bucks a house. And for them, it's good experience. I, I think, you know, I used to go out and look at property without even getting paid to do it, you know, and, and that's something you should do to kind of bone up your skills. So you'll have a lot of newer agents and so on. Now, their job is not to educate your client. Their job, their job is just to open the door. And so what I tell my client, I say, hey, I've got my showing assistant, so-and-so. They're going to just open the houses for you. Now, once you find a house that you really, really, really like, I will personally go out and look at that house. Okay. So that, that, was, a, that was a guarantee that I would make for my clients is if you want me to, once you find the house that you love, after my showing assistant has opened up 10, 12 houses for you, once you find the one you really like, I'll personally go out and look at it for you and give you my second opinion if you want me to. OK, and that way I only had to go out and look at one house instead of going out and look at a bunch of them. So, you know, there's an easier way to do this business, guys. Um, showing assistants do have to be licensed. Yes, that's a question that Dorita's asking. They have to be licensed. Um, OK, let's see what else. Can we use a non-licensed assistant 
as a showing person. In Austin, you used to be able to, in Texas, um, you can't anymore. They have to be licensed. So you have to check on the state laws where you are because it used to be in our state that you could. Um, they just couldn't do certain things. Like they couldn't, uh, they couldn't sell the property. Like they couldn't mention the amenities and everything. If the, if the, if the, uh, if the buyer had a question, all they could do was give the buyer the sale sheet and that was it. They're only there to open the house. That's it. Um, but now you can't, you, they have to be licensed. So just check what the rules are in your state. Um, because they are different from state to state. Uh, let me see. Uh, one day I'll do a class all about this whole buy. If you guys are excited about this buyer showing thing, um, I, I mean, I've got a whole class on that too. Uh, let me see. Now I do realize too that most of you guys, um, especially if you're newer to the business, uh, you may not be busy enough to where you can even you feel like you can turn away business or refer business out or get a showing assistant or whatever. Um, but again, that, that those are self-limiting beliefs. OK, um, what you believe has become true for you in that case. Uh, <laughs> Dorita says she had a, a tire kicker. Oh, man, I know how that is. Um, yeah, Josie, jo <laughs> Josie has a comment here. So. Uh, this same client that Mina had showed a house for, we bought it for 655,000. Okay. So I made a nice commission. I made whatever it was, uh, whatever 655 is times 3%. Uh, I made like 20 grand. And so, um, it, and by the way, I'd never even seen the house and I still got paid. Um, so, I, so now <clears throat> these same clients called me up and they said, Hey, we want to go buy a house. And so um, I had a showing assistant go out and start showing them houses. And, uh, and they were looking, now they're looking in the, they were looking in like the six, $700,000 range because they wanted to sell the house that they're in, which is no problem. And then they wanted to, uh, now this is a funny story. Then they want to buy another house. So it so happened that the house they wanted to see, um, I asked Josie if she could go out and show it to them because the showing assistant wasn't available. So Josie went out uh, and it was about an hour drive opened the house. They absolutely loved it. We wrote it up. So Josie showed one house and they bought. <laughs> and I just got paid on that 20,000, 19,500 bucks, what I made on that deal. Um, and I, and I never saw the house. Um, I, I mean, I went and saw it after the fact, um, but I never actually went out showing homes. Okay. Um, another funny story about that is I listed their house. In other words, I put the sign on the, in the yard and because it was COVID, um, my client said, look, just put the coming soon sign. Don't even come into the house and greet us or anything because we don't want to be around people. Just put the coming soon sign in the front yard. And then when we're ready to list, we'll let you know. Because we had, you know, Josie had shown them a house. They bought it and they were going to be ready to list their house. Well, somebody drove through the neighborhood, saw the coming soon sign. We, we, we negotiated the deal. They went out and saw the house with their agent and we got it under contract and we got it under contract for 769,000, the same house they bought for 655. I sold it for 769. Okay. And, uh, 769,000. And I never physically walked in the house. You know, it was a coming soon. So I never, even, even to this day, I just went and pulled up my sign. I never even had time to put the lockbox on or go take photos or anything and sold it, got a paycheck. So again, there's an easier way to do this, guys. There's an easier way to do it. All right. So what other questions do we have? Uh, Chris, what questions do you have for me that the group has been uh, throwing to you? Um, oh, uh, Rebecca wants to know how long I had to sign up. I had the coming soon up for, um, uh, we're only allowed to do coming soon signs for one day. Uh, hey, I'd rather get slapped on the hand. I, I must have had that coming soon sign up for um, probably a, at least a couple weeks. I know it was up before I pulled it down. It was up for um, well, they pulled the coming soon sign off because we went under contract. But it was uh, it was more than a day. I guarantee you that um, there's some things that I allow people to tell me how to do my business. And there's some things I don't. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I had a broker, my Remax broker. He was uh, one hair shy of being an attorney. And he said, hey, there's some, some things I'm going to let the, you know, let them tell me how to do it. I remember Gary Keller used to say this to me all the time. He said, Nolly, 
He said, the government can tell you how to run your business, but at the same time, you can run your business any way you choose. Cause there's some rules that are just dumb. And uh, I think that's a dumb rule, Rebecca, for them to allow us to only have the coming soon sign up for one day. Uh, so I definitely broke that rule, Abor. Here I am, come get me. Uh, okay, so Artemis is asking, or saying success is about structure, it's not personal. Listen to Uncle Nolly and build your identity, pipeline and structure, yeah. Success is not personal, it's all about stru structure. Uh, success doesn't care, it, success is not on me because I'm Nolly Williams. It's like, psh, you know, and if I stop doing the things that, that, that create success, I will no longer be successful. All right, let's see. Thanks, Artemis, for reminding us that. This is this is a good call here. Um, boss, boss, I'm just going to pose a couple of questions. Okay. All right. So one of the questions is, um, when will I have my uh, Mentorship Masters attraction site? Right, Chris? Yep. Yes. Yeah, yeah people are asking that all the time. And um, and let me let me just share my screen so I can share what we're talking about here. So when you become a mentorship master, you're entitled to um, a, uh, an attraction site. So let me show you real quick what that looks like. So um, me as our latest member, uh, uh, me Wells is our latest uh, ambassador. And so we just built her an attraction site. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is her attraction site. Uh, when people come here, they find out a little bit about her. They find out about EXP. They find out about Mentorship Masters and why they should be joining our group. So the first thing they do, they watch the video. And this is the EXP Explained uh, video. Then they uh, find a little bit about Me Wells, and then they can click to join. And then there's a lot of other information here uh, for agents, teams, and brokers. We've got the top 10 benefits of Mentorship Masters. Uh, we, we feel like we're the most, we're, we're, the, we're the best group at EXP. We're faith-based, Christ-centered. Um, and so we, sh we share a little bit about what our group is about. And then there's frequently asked questions. Okay. So every single mentorship master is entitled to one of these. All you've got to do is invite your first master. Once they enroll and they become a master, you've got your first member that's joined um, they be you become an ambassador and you get a mentorship master's attraction site. So only ambassadors have that. When we first started uh, this and we didn't have the numbers that we have now that are joining, um, our founding members, you know, for our first, uh, I think it was first 50 members or whatever, um, we allowed them to have an attraction site without attracting someone. But now you've got to attract someone first. Um, by, by the way, I want to give a high five to Mark Phillips because Mark Phillips is in the house. He is uh, it, now in, the, uh, in our inner circle. He's one of the top five uh, attractors in our group, uh, top five of all time. And he's right on the heels of Artemis for that number one spot. Um, in fact, let me show you that real quick. Let me see if I can. Did we update that, Chris? Can I show him that? Did we update the, uh, the, attrac the attraction? The oh, yeah, we did. We did. It's updated. Okay, because there was a, a, an edit from this morning. You, were you, did you do that? Okay, you got that done. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Let me show them then. Let me show them. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you guys what we're talking about here. Uh, here, let me open up. Um, I got to get to it. I thought I had it open, but let me. Okay, here we go. This is our Masters of the Month, and we track this every single month, guys. Um, or Chris does it. Chris, Chris tracks this. Um, so if there's ever a mistake, you know who. <laughs> All right. So here's our top attractors. Um, I'm just going to share this real quick. Uh, we've got in the number one spot, we've got uh, Will and Deb Gilliam. Uh, and then number two is Stuart Sutton. What's up, Stuart? Number two. Number three is Artemis. Uh, number four is Mina and, uh, uh, and, and Mark. They're tied for the really tied for the number four spot, really, because they both have four. Um, but, but little birdie told me that Mark is about to get his fifth one. So he's going to be in our, in our top three attractors. The boy is just on fire. Um, he, he decided, can you guys see my screen? Am I sharing my screen? No. Okay. Hold on. I wasn't sharing my screen. My bad. Um, okay. Let me, here it is. Here's what I was telling you. Um, so, so Mark is absolutely on fire. Um, he's bringing a lot of people to the group. 
and he's attracted five people in the last 60 days. Okay, in the last 60 days. I'm not going to tell you how he did it, but I'm just going to tell you if there's a will, there's a way. And he found the will and he found the way. All right. So um, let's get into uh, and thanks for helping us grow, guys. That, that's what it's all about. You guys know from just from what we've been talking about so far that we have what it takes here to, for you to be successful. Uh, creating a bio. OK, so that's another question that we have a lot from our new masters is creating a bio. By the way, many of you have not put your bio, you know, uh, out there. And I, I was I was checking some of you guys out, like like my man, Stuart Sutton. I was checking you guys out this morning because I do that frequently. And you don't have your bio out there in enterprise. And what that means is um, you're not going to get that many referrals. If you if you don't take the time to, to put your bio and your photo out there in enterprise, you're just not going to get the referrals. Um, now, one of the questions that Chris is referring to is about creating the bio. Should I use Fiverr or, or, or my sponsor? So I would say um, I've got a template for how to create your bio in the first 30 days. So if you don't, you haven't done your bio yet, should be short. Um, I've got a template there. Um, and then you can, you can check that out. In fact, me Wells has a phenomenal bio, very short um, and succinct. And uh, it, you don't want it to be too lengthy, in my opinion. Um, uh, mine is probably a bit lengthy, but the point is that you have one and that you have it posted, but, uh, and, and make sure that you go through a Fiverr. Okay. We have a list of fibers that we recommend for $5. They'll review your bio and they'll give it a thumbs up. They'll, they'll kind of go through it and retweak it and so on like that. So I really recommend a Fiverr. You can actually have your sponsor tweak your bio for you, but that's not a professional editor. So I, I prefer to pay somebody five bucks to do that. Um, oh, and by the way, um, I think it was Rebecca posted a, a great template for a bio. And I went ahead and put that in our mentorship masters portal as well. She had a great template on how to create a bio, uh, beautiful template there. So thanks Rebecca for that. Um, yeah, Rebecca's got her attraction site. What's up? Sabu has his as well. What's up? What's up? Uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, okay. Let me, is there anything else, Chris? Um, yeah, Artemis says all his reviews are on Google My Business and KV Core. Uh, yeah, if you guys ever want your attraction site updated, uh, Sabu's asking about that. They have to be updated individually, but it, but whatever you want on your attraction site, we can we can within reason. I mean, we can do so. Uh, we can definitely update that for you. Just reach out to Chris and, and ask. Uh, okay, so so Chris. Okay, so here's another thing. Chris reminded me. So um, it used to be that we would go. Remember the first thousand business cards you get for free when you join EXP? Well, if you're sponsoring people over, it's good to know that we no longer use House of Magnets. Um, I think we're now using Build a Sign, if that's if that's right, uh, to do our business cards. Which that's news to me. Is that right, Chris? We're using Build a Sign now. Okay, so um, so so a lot of the uh, some of the information that I have on how to order your first thousand cards is wrong because that just got updated last month where we're now using build a sign. And so the, so the, um, the first thousand cards are still free, but they, there's a code or something that comes from build a sign. So I still have to learn about that. Um, and when you have a bad coupon uh, code that doesn't work, uh, the best place to go is support at exprealty.com. Is that right, Chris? Is that the, is that it? Support at exprealty.com. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, and by the way, let me show you guys something I just did. I think you'll you'll appreciate. Um, on the Mentorship Masters portal, see this? I just updated it where I put, we have a live weekly group coaching Zoom on Thursdays and I put the time and then I put the support number and the support here, up here at the top. So uh, so that you guys can reach out to us when you need to. Because I noticed that some some people get a little confused. Now, remember in the portal, when you log into the portal, um, let me just do that real quick. So those of you that are new, uh, when you log into the Mentorship Masters portal, um, this is also where you can access support as well. So you'll see, uh, e e you know, Chris's email address and everything. We have multiple support people. Um, Chris is our main support guy. And then we have Noemi on the team as well. 
Um, and we're about to add a third person um, at some point as well. So, uh, so the support number is right up here. Um, and again, if, you, if you're not familiar with the portal, this is where everything Nolly lives. Okay, everything Nolly lives here. So the new members, you're gonna wanna start off with the welcome tab and then go to the start here tab and go through every single step. I know it's gonna be overwhelming at first, but this is what it takes to build success. You know, when, 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 I, when, when the house is being built, um, it's a little overwhelming or when somebody's moving, it's a little overwhelming, but when they finally get settled in, guess what? They can have a happy home. And that's what we have here. So um, that looks like it guys. Uh, we're, we're at our time as well. Um, Rebecca did post um, in the chat, the bio, if you want to, if you want to snag that, that bio, um, uh, you, you make sure guys, if you, if you have a question around this, reach out to Chris, but make sure that you're updating your bio, uh, and updating your photo at EXP, because I got to tell you, if you get one referral, one referral, and I've, al I've already gotten, you know, one referral for every year I've been here, at least if you get one referral, it'll pay your entire uh, cap for the year. Okay. You, you might get a $500,000 referral. Artemis got a referral and he made $12,000 was first, his first sale, $12,000 on one referral that he got from another EXP agent. Why? Because he, ha because he has his photo and his bio updated. They, they looked at several agents, they read the bios and they were like, I want to go with this guy. Artemis made 12,000 bucks on that deal. That was what he made after he paid the referral fee. OK, so it, it's worth it. To, and, and, and just think about it. One referral will pay your cap here at EXP. All right. So make sure if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, let me just share that with you. And then we're going to quit is when you go to if I go to um, EXP uh, Realty dot com. And um, and I and I look for and, and I go to now, in fact, let me let me do this. I'm going to go to uh, enterprise. Okay. Now in enterprise, I can go to the expert directory and that's where all of us go to find an agent. So if I look up, um, let me just look up Jen, uh, just anybody ran. I don't want to pick on anybody. Uh, I'm just going to do a random one. Uh, let me see. Oh, no, no. Am I in the right place here? Okay. You can do by name or, or keyword. So let me just do John. Okay, so let me, so this is going to pull up everybody with that name. Now, I might, I might be looking for somebody in Austin, Texas, for example. So I'll pull up Austin. Now, it'll pull up anybody with the name Austin, or I could say, hey, I want Austin, Texas, or I can put a zip code, 78747, okay, for example. Now, if I'm looking for an agent in that zip code, this is what, you know, here's Nolly Williams. Um, and then if, when I click on expert details, people are going to be able to read the expert details about that person. Now, some of these you'll find, you're, you'll, you'll have an agent, let me just show you, uh, like this, okay? John Korish, no photo and probably no bio. So how many referrals is that person gonna get? I can, you already know how many referrals are gonna get, none, okay? So if you can't take the time to update, like this guy, uh, and by the way, you can also update your social media. So you can put your Twitter account, your Facebook, everything like that. And uh, so, so now if I go here, now John has his photo, but he doesn't have a, a, a picture. Okay. So let's go to this one. Nope, nope, no bio. So if I'm trying to find an agent to refer to, and I'm not, I can't read about you, I'm not going to refer you, period. Now this guy, oh, I was born and raised in Richmond, Virginia. And my wife and I moved to Jack. Okay, well, cool. All right. Well, at least I can find out a little bit about you. I like the, you know, I, I'm good. I'm vibing with you. I'm going to refer you business. And, and, I, and I'll say this, many of you masters, I say about 30% of you have not updated your, your photo and bio. So get that done today. All right. Uncle Nolly is on your case. Hey, I love you guys. I appreciate you. You guys are doing phenomenal. Uh, you had your best month ever financially last month, as far as the books are concerned. Um, you know, we sold more houses than we than, than ever before. Uh, this month is on track to, to be on fire. 2021 is in, is is on track to be an on fire year. I love you guys, and I want you to be successful. Um, I want you to have the highest levels of success possible, uh, and that's my pledge to you. So thank you, 
until we meet again next week, adios, arrivederci, and goodbye. <laughs> well, thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of the Success with Listings podcast. If you are serious about taking your real estate career to the highest heights, making more money and helping more clients while working less hours and spending more time with your family, be sure to get your copy of my free book, Triple My Listing, absolutely free at successwithlistings.com. Now you want to be sure that you subscribe to the podcast and check out successwithlistings.com to get your copy of my free book. Hey, I'll see you on the next one.